Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to this bite-sized episode of Let's Play Demon Souls, dedicated to the game's online systems. Namely, co-op and invasion. Plus, sooner or later, I had to cross the online trophies off my list, and everyone knows there's no better time to do that than exactly... September 16th. 2021. And by the way, this episode is going to require some editing on my part to navigate smoothly, or so it plays smoothly. Uh, so this whole thing's going to be done in post-commentary. First, we're going to talk about the mechanics of invading and helping people out in co-op. And then I have a really cool story to tell about how these things came to be, like what inspired them. As for the nuts and bolts of it, uh, in order to help someone out, you have to be in soul form, and you use the blue eye stone to leave a blue sign in other players' worlds. If you're close enough to them in level, then they can summon you to help them out, uh, to help them clear that level as a blue phantom. Usually, people either leave their signs uh, either right outside of boss doors or right outside of the archstone you spawn in at in the beginning. If you both successfully down the level boss, then you go back to your own game in your own world and get restored to body form. If you go into someone else's world to help them, uh, you do not get credit for the boss kill in your own run. The person you helped does progress through the game though. In order to get help, uh, you have to be in body form and then you just touch someone's blue sign if you see one around. Uh, which actually, there's been a real drought in this playthrough of those. They've been kind of scarce for some reason. Uh, and in addition to co-op, you can even set up item trades, uh, or someone can just drop some, some nice equipment or materials for you. Also, if you want to co-op specifically with a friend, you can go into the network settings and set a password. Uh, both, of you, both of you have to use that same password. As for invasions, you just use the Black Eye Stone, and you invade a random player's game as a Black Phantom, in whatever level you use the stone in. Like with co-op, you can't match with people who are a significantly higher or lower level than you. Uh, enemies won't attack invading Black Phantoms. Black Phantoms are banished if you cross the fog gate into a boss fight. Uh, you being the person who is invaded in that case. You can't be invaded in soul form, if you're in soul form. Uh, and then other than that... Let's see, the invasion ends uh, when the host or the invader dies, one or the other. And these are really interesting asymmetrical concepts that when Demon Souls was new, I can't understate enough, or I can't overstate enough uh, how cool this was and how much it felt like a revelation. It was cumbersome and not executed terribly well or intuitively, but in that messiness was something really enchanting. Uh, and there is a story that goes with this mechanic that I think is just as interesting. Miyazaki was on the road during a snowstorm. He was approaching a hill and saw that the car at the front was starting to slip, to backslide down. Several cars ended up stuck on the hill before one car uh, spontaneously bumped into the one in front of it to get it loose and it turned into this chain of cars nudging each other up the hill so that everyone could get home safely. Uh, in the in the Eurogamer interview where he tells this story, he says that he, uh, he couldn't stop to get out and say thanks, uh, and he wondered what happened to the last person in the line. It was this, this fleeting moment of spontaneous cooperation with total strangers, and it left like it left lingering questions in his mind about what happened to what happened to all of these other people if he had met one of them would they even actually get along would they maybe have even been enemies <laughs> uh the themes of that story are adversity cooperation without direct communication uh strangers coming together in an act of mutual assistance fleeting, transient moments, and reflecting on a chance encounter. And it's kind of amazing 
how much this game mechanic actually successfully communicates those things. I told you there was a cool story behind this. And with that, that is going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.